All right, so we're just gonna continue to check out this bar before we move on, or cantina. I gotta use proper Star Wars terminology. <laughs> okay, I think this is where they're all playing Pazak, which they can go. Jigacha. What do you want, human? You come to stare like others here on Terrace? You think we're strange? I yeah, I do actually. I want to ask you some questions. Questions? What kind of questions? What planet are you from? You couldn't say it and don't have the ears for it. Two voices create the name and four ears hear the true sound. We are kind of would call our home, so home Sorgas, a small world fall far off the per Perlemian trade route. What kind of creature are you? In your one voice tongue you would call our kind Pardwag. Pardwag. Can you tell me about your home world? Talking about our home only makes us quarantine more difficult to bear. Forgive us human, but we do not wish to be reminded of it. I notice your other head doesn't say much. Nothing that you would cheer, at least. The planet are, uh, okay. Can you tell, um, what do you know about Terrace? Nothing, we were only stopping here to get supplies when the Sith attacked. They imposed a quarantine on all ships that landed on Terrace. Shitty deal. Now we are stuck here on a world that hates non-humans. Not a good place to be. Sorry, bro. Alright, well, later. Good, leave us alone. We went quarant We just want quarantine now so we can go back home. I can get why. It looks like a giant ape. Anyway, let's get out of this Pazak den. Hold it, here he is. I was looking for this idiot. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. Oh, you purr. I don't normally go for these <laughs> alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences with my own species lately. Maybe it's time for a change. Know what I mean? Yeah. You're the guy who put the bounty on Dia's head, right? You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done. I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Because you tried to be fresh. Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances. And the next thing I know, she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. But it sounds the thing she did. Sounds like you maybe got what you deserved. Hey, you weren't there. She totally overreacted. I'm siding with Dia. I want the bounty on Dia's head removed. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. If you hire someone to kill Dia, it will look like you weren't mad enough to do it yourself. Uh Let's try it. Uh I don't know. Let's try it. If I let her get away with it. I'll look even worse. She's got to pay either with her life or 200 credits to buy my forgiveness. God damn it. Alrighty, fine. Don't worry. I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. Asshole, but fine. God, I'm paying off everybody. Oh, come on, you can get paid to do something else, baby. <laughs> can we talk to the Bith guy? Alright, kick Karth, get out of the way. We need another party member right now. These guys are still dead. That's funny. We've already talked. Okay, let's get out of this place. We've already done a full circle, so. Might as well. And I got I can respawn once I'm done in the lo actually no. I do kind of want to go Damn, hold on one second. Can I return to the lower city? I hope that I can. Let me just check the map. Um okay, map. I can. Uh
I can only return to the hideout. Do I want to do that? Because I'll have to walk all the way back. Well, yeah, we'll go to back to the hideout. Chances are... Wait, wait, what? Okay. Hold on a second. Alright, I might as well do it because I figure I might get enough experience because when you backtrack this far, uh, you get enough ex Usually they'll give you enough experience to like that make it worth your while. So I think Dia was in this first room. Yeah, here she is. Tower, it's all good in the hood. You're back. Did you did you manage to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? I did. I can I spoke with Holden. I convinced him to remove the bounty on your head. He he called the bounty off. That's wonderful. I only wish I had something to give you as a reward. You know Wait those lips look I shaped know. you know pretty well. I don't well. have many credits, but there is something I can give you. It's a family heirloom. It's not much, but it's something. Maybe hopefully a belt. I'm a, I, I want something. I'm not going to tell her that. So. I'll, I'll be neutral here because I'll get enough light side stuff later on. So I'll say thank you, dear. This reward will be fine. I can never truly repay you for helping me. But you'll always have my thanks for what you did. What did I get? Oh, it's just an item. It probably was bullshit. Let me see. Um, Hold on. Inventory. Yeah, it's in here. Is it worth something? The hell is it? She better not have given me some bullshit crap. Is it this thing? Yeah, it's probably this thing. I'll bet you anything that's what she gave me. Perfect. All right. Well, I guess that's something. An upgrade for my weapon. Thing is, it's only good for uh, you can the only sword you can upgrade is the vibro blade. And I'm not going to go to the I'm not going to go to my, you know, my base just to do it. So, hold on. Let me go back to the map. Let me see if I can actually spawn. Wait, transit back? Yes, I would. That's awesome. Do it. It should send me to the uh, lower levels. Honestly, I never use this that much. Honestly, I never use the fast travel. I never thought to. That's awesome. Now I got that Donum back here. And I got a, well, somewhat okay reward, I guess. An upgrade that'll help me in my melee weapons down the road. Oh, crap. Uh, hold on. I think I want to go to the back base before I go back that way. So we'll keep going and see what's going on on this end of the woods. Hidden back base. Let's talk to the hidden back. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? I need Gadon's help. I was told to speak to him. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the hidden back's open door policy are gone. Can I get Between in somehow? The Sith conquest and the Valkyrie gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Uh, maybe... Maybe a bribe could get My me in? My loyalty's not for sale. I've been with the Hidden Becks for years, and I'm not going to desert Gadon now just because everyone is turning against him. Maybe I could be an ally against all those enemies. Well... We do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The Hidden Becks are watching you. Thank you. Uh, hold on. Let me go down here. I can't remember what's down this way. Oh, a black Valkar. You know what, before we go there, let's actually just go into the base, and we'll, we'll go in here, yeah, we'll just do this. Talk to Gadden, because I remember the hidden backs were the, were the light side path, and uh, if you went with the Vulkers, they were the assholes of the group. They were dark side, although I think they gave you better stuff. 
Sorry, just taking a sip of the old drank. So, let's go. Standard door. Pretty great. Oh, Hidden Bex. Would you let me look through your place real fast? I just want to see what you got. What kind of crap you got, bruh. Let's see. Let's see. But yeah, guaranteed I'm going to side with these guys. Okay, I can't get that way. I could probably get that way if I if I side with the uh, with the whatchamacallits. With the Valkers and uh, you know, it's just part of the main quest. Anyway, let us talk to Gaddon, considering there's nothing really here to talk about. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gaddon? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. It really would. You're too trusting, Gaddon. Breshek and his Valkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulcas do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gaddon if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar spy. I promise I'm not here to harm him. I want to work with him. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Bredrick and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Um... Are you have problems with the Sith? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the Lower City. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Breshik, but he and his Vulcars won't listen. Vulcar. Did I call them the Vulcans before? Probably. <laughs> I need information on those Republic escape pods that crashed in the Undercity. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gaddon. They might Shut be up, bitch. for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. And I do. Don't worry, I'm not working for the Sith. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. We gotta get her back. Bastila's a slave, what will happen to her now? Normally, the Vulcars would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Definitely. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcar base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcar scum at the base. Brezik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. There has to be some way I can help her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcar's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. Which I am a natural. Gaddon, can you help me with this? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. Name it. What the are you swoop proposing? race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Bex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. 
A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. Of course they did. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. How am I supposed to get inside the Vulker base? Getting into the Vulker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veo. Mission! Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. I already know where she is. Where can I find Mission? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity, but you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. I've got some Sith uniforms to disguise myself. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Can you hook me up? Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. You want to hook me up? Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. So done and done. Honestly, the the papers over over authorized or whatever, over you know, they rule out the uniforms, and I don't. I'm not wearing the uniforms anyway, so I'm gonna be like, okay, I'll trade the uniforms for papers. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Your friend here, she looks pretty, you know, pretty sexy. What can you do for me in that department? Well, Your some time questions. would probably be better spent going after the prototype swoop engine the Vulcan stole from us. I'll get to but it. I'll answer your questions if I can. I don't want to ask him that. Don't want to ask him that. I'll ask him this: Why are the Brezhik and the Vulkers at Why are Brezhik and the Vulkers at war with you? When I lost my sight in the swoop bike accident, everyone assumed I would step down as leader of the Hidden Bex and let Brezhik, my most trusted follower, take over. But with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang, and I knew Brezhik wasn't ready to take over yet. Unfortunately, Brezhik didn't agree with me. In a rage, he left to join our arch rivals, the Black Vulkers. A lot of the younger gang members followed him. And soon, he and his followers had taken control of the Vulcan gang. But why start a gang war with the Bax? Brezhik is a proud man. My decision was a public humiliation for him. Maybe if I had stepped down, this gang war could have been avoided. Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Brezhik wants to control the lower city gangs. If you'd stepped down, he'd have led the Bex against the Vulcans. He wanted this war, one way or another. <sighs> I know your rights, Erdra. Breshik won't rest until I am dead and the Becks are no more. But it's hard to accept the truth of his betrayal. Wanna ask you something else? Your time. Skip. Uh, I'll just get back when I get the prototype, prototype accelerator. I suggest you hurry. The swoop race is coming up and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Roger Dodger. Alrighty, let's see. 